Physics Challenge 8, Special Relativity. Uh, we talk about kinetic energy. In Special Relativity, we know the famous equation E equals mc squared. Okay, that's the energy. Uh, we often talk about that. But in the physics, classical physics, everybody learn the kinetic energy is 1 over 2 mv square okay the doesn't look right because energy is mc square but classic physics classical physics 1 over 2 mv square why is that have you ever wonder okay this is a connection between classical physics and the special relativity theory okay so let's consider where this come from. Okay. The, the beginning, we drop something, m, the height. So we have a g, mg. This spend energy. That energy is converted to kinetic energy. So we have Newton's equation MA which is M dV dt so the energy we say you know the distance with F gives the energy well believe or not dL right so m dv dt and dl so the energy is expressed by this equation right now this part is v so m v dv so energy is 1 over 2 m v square make sense Okay, so this is classical physics. The question is, why energy is force times distance? Well, that's given. That's the physics law, def definition of kinetic energy. I mean, potential energy converted to kinetic energy. So kinetic energy has to be the the energy has to be defined this way but energy is defined in relativity theory E equal m c square but m is dilated so m zero c square lambda this is gonna be the m right and as you know lambda is 1 over v square c square 1 and that's turned out to be 1 minus x and minus 1 over 2 now here x is very small in classical physics okay so you can expand this into the series whatever this is too small and what's happen is it's going to be 1 plus v square c square so approximation will be like that so if you plug in this c square 1 plus 1 over 2 v square c square so it's going to be m0 c square plus 1 over 2 m0 uh, v square so what does it mean this is called intrinsic energy for the mass m0 at rest and when 
v is very small, smaller than uh, c. The this is a approximated kinetic energy. So that's where it's come from. So going back to original idea, this comes first. Then potential energy is defined this way. It's a backward. Okay. And what is this intrinsic energy? This is energy contained in the mass. And the nuclear bombs when split atom M0 become M1 and M2 and M1 plus M2 is not M0. There are some lost delta M and delta M C square is going to be the energy generated. So this is a nuclear energy. It's come from this side. But when M0 move at the speed B, it's going to have kinetic energy. That's what this 1 over 2 M0 V square is about. Okay? So actually, relatively defined energy at a much more fundamental level, and from there, we calculate kinetic energy for classical physics and that's probably defined not probably it's it defined the potential energy which is f times distance okay so in the beginning we accepted oh energy is force times distance it's called work right remember and that's how we learn but actually this work defined kinetic energy, but in the in the uh, new physics, we defined energy as m c square, and from there we can derive this and bring back to definition of work. All right. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this video. We have other physics videos. Please check it out if you like. Subscribe.